Okay, it's May 15th, it's 9.33 in the morning, and I am at the Damascata Fish Ladder, which is my favorite place in the world to come in the month of May. Uh, this is really how striper season kicks off, even though the stripers aren't here. As a rule of thumb, when the herring start running, the stripers are only a couple of weeks away. They, not that they're related at all, it's, it's just a complete correlation with no causality there, but it's just you know, one other trigger to remind me that stripers are going to come back and it's something I look forward to every year. It's raining out, the weather sucks, but it doesn't matter. Totally worth the hour and a half drive because I know I'll see fish. And how many times can you go fishing or just go somewhere and know definitively you're gonna see fish except when you're going to an aquarium? They are running thick. far as the eye can see. Well, here we are at the Damerscotta Fish Ladder Restoration Plaza. And this right here is where they started basically fixing up the fish ladder that was built in 1807, I believe is when it was originally built. And it was here because of all the damming that had occurred. That was during the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, which this country desperately needed and really put this country in a phenomenal foundation from an economic standpoint. Unfortunately, it came at some great costs. We're seeing that cost today in several different areas, but right now the big cost that, that the state of Maine has always been addressed, and they even addressed this in 1807, was the fact that their herring runs were decimated by the mills. They, the way they got up to the lakes, which is where they spawn, and then they come back down into the river and they spend the rest of their lives in the ocean, all that was clogged off by dams and various other things that were happening. So back well over 200 years ago, the people of the state of, De of Maine, and well actually which was technically part of Massachusetts at the time, and the people of Damascata said, no, we're not going to let this happen. We're going to build a ladder, which is going to enable basically the herring to come back, start going up the ramp, go into the lake, and that'll be that. Well, that ladder needed help, and in 2008 there was a major renovation which happened. And today, as a result of some really hard work and some dedicated individuals, and they really were just a handful of people, they came together and they rebuilt it and it looks absolutely gorgeous to this day. And as a result of it, well, you saw, the river's being choked with herring. I think last year there were over a million of them that came up, which is just beyond my level of comprehension, how we could bring up something, how we could bring basically nature back to its absolute strongest points. So what we're seeing here is the beginning of the fish ladder, and I don't know if you can get this or not, but they put netting all around it, and they've done that obviously because the herring in pools this shallow, this thick, would just be so unfair picking it for the birds, they would just never leave. So they made it really, really challenging for a bird to go through here. Now you will notice a couple remnants that uh, birds clearly tried to uh, do everything in their power to get them, but they were unsuccessful. One of the things I really like to see here are all the fins of the herring, and there's literally thousands of these tiny little fins breaking the surface, uh, and it's just kind of neat. Because you can really get a feel for just the absolute chaos these guys must be going through trying to make it to fresh water. And they do that just to spawn. still couldn't catch a single one. I'm that good of a fisherman. As you can see, they're corralled up in here, and they go into this area right here where they're harvested. Not all of them, obviously, just a tiny, tiny fraction of them. And it all goes to the lobstermen. 